What's up, my valued friends? Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. This is a very quick video. I'm going to try to keep this extremely short within two, three minutes. So this is a very simplistic um, video, like a cycle analysis. And when I do the cycle, I rather prefer to use the methodologies as... Um, uh, explained by GM Hurst. If you don't know who he is, uh, go Google him. What he normally does is he connects the lows for identifying the cycle. So I identified, identified this low here, this low here, and we have this low here, and these are all confirmed cycle lows. So a very interesting finding here is Normally, it takes around 1,430 days to travel from one low to another low, which is almost four years. So it almost takes four years to go from one low to another low. So we can say now with hindsight confirmation, of course, everything is in hindsight, that this was the low. And of course, we could say that this was the low already in uh, March 2023. And if this pattern will repeat, most likely the next low of this cycle will end in October 2026. Another very interesting finding is what I would love to share with you and uh, is that normally it takes 1060 days, more or less, 1060 days to travel from the low to the new all-time high because it happened here as we can see it happened here as well we had the low in december 2018 and we had the high in november um it wasn't sorry yeah, november 2021 and if we connect the uh, the the previous cycle low from November 2020, we add 1065 days, it brings us to October 2025. And I also want to remind you normally when we have an halving event, it normally takes a few months, a few months of range bound price action before Bitcoin makes a decisive move. Of course, it can always move to the downside. However, in this case, post halving, it was very boring. And, of, and again, post halving is supposed to be very boring. We had a few months of chop chop price action and up it went. The third halving, the exact same thing. And what I believe is now the fourth halving, this is a fourth halving, I believe this is just another consolidation accumulation however you want to call it before is it going to resume to the upside a very interesting observation is also whenever you add um, a time range f starting from the halving event to the all-time high it normally takes Bitcoin almost uh, on average 500 days before it travels all the way from the halving event to the next all-time high. We have seen it um, here at the in the uh, second hal uh, halving event. Uh, we have we see uh, something similar here. Oh, sorry, this is the wrong. We see here something similar: 520 days before it went from the third halving event to a all-time high. And if we apply the same um, thought process, it brings us here, which aligns also with the time distance between the cycle low to the next cycle high. So with that said, I believe the top is absolutely not in from, um, from, from my perspective. Of course, I can be wrong, but I don't want to fight a obvious trend here. The secular trend is a very dominant uptrend. And I believe the best is, has yet to, uh, uh, is, is yet to come. I hope you enjoyed this quick video share this with your friend also love to see some comments uh, hit the like button happy weekend and talk soon